that uh, it would be a tremendous understatement to say that this Kenny is an Albert. easy He's decision to make. Unfortunately, it is my role to make the best decisions for the organization going forward. And uh, I believe that this group, uh, this group of players uh, needs a new voice. Uh, and this in no way is anything negative on uh, Barry Trotz, uh, who, as each and every one of you knows, if uh, you've had the opportunity to meet him, is a tremendous human being. Um, in saying that, I'm open for any questions. We'll start with Andrew Gross Newsday. Hey, Lou. Morning. Morning, Andrew. Uh, what, what, what led you to believe that the, that the players needed a new voice here? Um, well, first of all, Andrew, any type of a decision like this doesn't happen overnight. It's over a period of time. And certainly all the extenuating circumstances uh, that transpired this year, uncontrolled by, by everyone or anyone, uh, is taken into consideration. Uh, but I'd rather not uh, get into any of the reasons uh, uh, because, uh, you know, that's my job upon the information that I have and I experience to make these type of decisions. Um, yeah, just to, to follow up, um, did, did Barry in any way – you know, I, I know at the end of the season he expressed that he was, you know, pretty tired, pretty beat up after this season. Do you get the sense that Barry, you know, wanted a break in any way, or is this in any way related to Barry being in, interested in, a, in another, you know, uh, job out there? Andrew, uh, you're asking questions that I do not have the answers to. Uh, I spoke to Barry this morning. Uh, we have a and have had and will always have a tremendous personal relationship. Uh, this is certainly a, a, a business decision as far as uh, hockey and winning. That being said, if the players need a new voice, you know, what, what are you looking for now, uh, you know, for the coach of the Islanders? Uh, you know, uh, Andrew, I cannot answer that question at this point because I do not have that new voice yet. Kevin Kerr, the athletic. Hi, Lou. I, I, you know, a lot of people, I think, look at this season as the reason the Islanders struggled was mostly circumstantial. Um, are, are there things that Barry could have done differently to handle all of the obstacles that you guys seem to face? Well, I, I think that all of us can always handle something different uh, after the fact, uh, any of this decision was not just primarily uh, made on this, this on this season. Go ahead, Kevin. Uh, what's the status of the other coaches, and, and is Lane Lambert um, still employed and perhaps in the mix for the head coaching job? Each uh, each and every one of our assistant coaches are under contract the conference. Uh, for next year, and you know we will address uh, everything appropriately. And the new coach will, will have a voice in whatever decisions ought to be made, if there are to be made. Go ahead, Kevin. And, and just one more from me. You know, Barry was headed into the last year of his deal. That, that was sort of what we understood. Did that have anything to do with the decision you came to today? Uh, no, not at all. We'll go to Mark Roseman. Hey, Lou, granted, you know, this season was different, you know, with the starting the season on the road, the COVID, uh, the team team seemed to gel the second half going forward. Um, what made you think, based on that, that the team needed a new voice? I, I appreciate the question, but those are not uh, questions that I will answer as far as what I thought. It's obvious uh, that I thought uh, quite a bit to – make this type of a decision. Kevin Martin, 12. Hey, Lou, uh, just in considering Barry here, when you when you look back at the tenure, now that it's over, how much did he mean to this franchise, uh, to you and, and the vision that you had for it? Well, I, I can't say enough uh, for, first of all, the working relationship that we've had and the friendship that was created over the period of time and will always be there. And certainly... I think the record uh, 
you know, over these past four years speaks for itself as far as what Barry has done. And we are very much appreciative to that. I certainly am personally and professionally. Uh, and as I said, these type of decisions are made for going forward, uh, not for the backward. And I think that uh, with this group we have, and they are on notice right now, uh, that, uh, you know, the, the new voice is what's necessary uh, for us to have success in in my opinion, and the, unfortunately or fortunately, my opinion is what uh, has to make these decisions. Go ahead, Kevin, with a follow-up. What sort of things are you hoping uh, that Barry has left on these players, Lou, in terms of teaching them how to play, teaching them how to be pros? Well, I, I, I think that uh, there's a lot of things that uh, have been left as far as professionalism and the personal part of it. Uh, and also uh, having knowing what it is to have some success and uh, and making sure that uh, they don't lose any of that uh, that they had in their experiences with Barry and I'm sure that their uh, the relationship and the friendship that was created will always be there uh, unfortunately and I've used that word a couple of times and uh, not to be redundant uh, that uh, these are decisions that are made uh, uh, and not on the person of a, uh, an individual, but on the uh, sort of the professional end of it uh, going forward. Shannon Hogan, MSG. Well, thank you for your time. Can you share um, a little bit about how this news was relayed to the staff, to the team, to the players, and what their response has been to you? And did you consult with the players before, you know, coming to this conclusion that you needed a new voice? Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I spoke to Barry this morning, and uh, other than the person that I report to, my owner, uh, those were the only people who knew of this decision. Uh, as far as the question, did I consult with anyone on this decision, uh, the answer is no. Uh, did I speak to players on this decision or no? Uh, I would never even consider thinking of anything like that. Uh, uh, this decision is on the knowledge that I have of the experiences I've had and also going forward as far as what I think and feel is best uh, for this group uh, to have success. Andrew Gross. Yeah, hey, Lou, since uh, we didn't get to speak to you, you know, on, on breakup day or, or last week, I, I'm just curious, you know, as you go into the off season, you know, what what improvements you're looking to make with this team, you know, off your assessment. Of Jamie this Stewart. And now how does having the look left for the a, conference. Uh, kind of, you know, weigh into that also, is there a timetable in your mind for, for hiring a new coach? I'll try and answer all those if I can remember them all, uh, Andrew. <laughs> um, but uh, there's no timetable. Uh, certainly uh, looking for a new coach will not get into anything that we have to do systemically with trying to improve our hockey team. Uh, all of these are separate, but you know, all come together at, at a, the appropriate time. And then just uh, at the beginning, you know, separate from the coaching, your your assessment of the team off of this season and what what does need to be better next year and, and how, you know, what, what, what your off-season priorities are now? Well, I, I think the, the off-season priorities are uh, no different uh, uh, than they were during the year. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, we'd like to improve – uh, our defense if we can uh, as far as uh, offensively and if there's a way of making a hockey deal uh, certainly uh, with our forwards we would do that uh, but I think that uh, what we have to do is get improvement out of our younger players um, and also a you know more complete year out of some of our veterans uh, than we did this year. Yeah. Uh that should do it. Thanks, everyone, for uh, taking the time, and uh, have a great rest of the day.